In this video, we'll show you how to make the kings. They go together with other patterns, donkeys and camels and shepherds and lambs, Mary and Joseph, and they come out darling. So come to our website and check them out. This video will be great. It'll show you how to make all the components. The pattern comes with different patterns for the trim, different hat choices, face choices, and they just turn out darling. To make the king, you need to make a body and an arm with this Brissani applique. Both sides are finished. They turn out really cool. But I make a sandwich with two pieces of fabric, wrong size together, and batting. It can be warm and natural or polyester, doesn't matter, it's thin batting. And I spray adhesive this sandwich together, and I'm going to hoop my hoop with water soluble interfacing and I'm going to put my sandwich over the area that's going to be stitched. Now in the pattern you can fit two sleeves on in one hooping and that's because you need the how long the sleeve is but you can fit two in. That just saves on water soluble interfacing and how many times you have to hoop it. Then I'll take the machine and call up my pattern and it will be an applique stitch and the first stage is a single stitch. So we'll go and stitch that out. Now I've cut the extra fabric away from that single stitch. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and do the embroidery on the ends of the sleeves. And then I'll finish with a zigzag and the satin stitch. Now I'll take it and soak it. Cut as much away as you can. Soak it. And then it's ready to attach to the body on the back. And then I'll wrap it forward and put the little present in there. To do the face, I stitched it out with one layer of fabric and thin batting that hides all the jump stitches on this side and it also helps soften the features that the little face gets kind of sunk down. It looks way cool. Then I hand gathered around the outside. I'm just gonna stuff it as full as I possibly can and pull it and I like to push that stuffing down into the corners and then I'll go back and forth across the opening evenly so that it's nice and round and I try to get as much of the edges as soft as I can. Now I cut a big whack of curly doll hair. You can just get this on Amazon. It's awesome and you just go with matching thread down into the little head come up and grab a bunch of little hoops and pull it down until the hair is secure and shaped. If you need a little more, just whack a little more. We've attached the hair up and around the little face as we've done in the other patterns. And usually we don't worry about the back because it goes up against the body but in the king, we made this part smaller. In other patterns, it becomes the halo. We're gonna go ahead and attach it to the back. And then with another chunk of hair, we're gonna cover up that part. Now this may not be necessary for if you're gonna do a big headdress that covers the back. But if you're just gonna wrap the head and you want uh, the back will be showing or put a little beanie on him, then you'll wanna use this method. In making this little present, the inside wasn't as pretty, so I did two layers, wrong sides together, and I stitched it out, and I left the outer stitching in. I just cut outside of that stitching as a stay stitch to keep it from unraveling. If it's a knit, I wouldn't have to do that. Then the second inside row of stitches is for the gathering location. So I hand gathered with double thread and I just stuff it, pull it, and the thing I like to do on these things, on the donkey luggage and on this, is I will take the needle up through the outside and wrap it again to really pull it in as a nice shape. I'm going to use this little skull cap and put that for his hat. I also made it larger, so it's like three we three kings of, of Orient are right. He can be Asian with 
Now here are two different headdress possibilities. This one is not exactly a circle and there's another circle in the center that stitches out and we're gonna hand gather that and then we place it on our king and we can stuff a little bit of stuffing back in the crown and the longer part hangs down and then the rest ruffles around the face like that and he, that one just turns out way cool then on this next one it's a little more complicated we're going to turn it under and hand gather again I'm going to pull it in about so it has a little bit of an opening and we've stuffed it and then we keep it kind of flattened like that and then we're going to attach it to the back of his head like this so it it looks like a big puffy flattened thing like that so i'll go ahead and attach it and then you can leave it like that or there's another part of this headdress you can add you can add this little piece of fabric here under the hat and it drapes around under his chin and under the hat on the other side and that's another cute little addition to that hat our kings are finished they turn out so cute you can wrap them with trim you can wrap their little heads with trims for turbans they come with lots of choices for hats and different uh, embroidered borders and of course the choice of fabrics make them really different be sure to use different colors for their skins is adorable so come to our website i think you'll have a lot of fun with these they're just darling to hang on your tree and there's we have a pattern for the full set on our website thanks for watching